all right guys a very warm welcome to my channel i'm happy that you are here with me you know this is the best place to get health information so hey as you are here just make sure you hit the subscribe button and activate the notification icon as well so that every time new content comes up you get notified i'm dr kelvin and i'm happy that you are here so today i'm going to answer a question for one of my my inboxes i mean you can follow me on all my social media send a question i do a video in response to it to help you understand whatever you are going through and today there's one lucky person who sent me a message and i am going to actually respond to that message so the question was very very simple doctor my blood pressure is 140 over 90. what does that mean so for starters everybody has blood pressure you know because we have we have erroneously called hypertension bp blood pressure there's an assumption that once you mention blood pressure it's a bad thing but actually everybody has a blood pressure the only time you don't have a blood pressure is when you are dead <laughs> so let's just back it up a bit and understand what blood pressure is so as you may already know the heart pumps blood all through your circulatory system it carries oxygen and nutrition to every part of your body now every time the heart beats it generates a pressure when it contracts that's one beat there's a pressure that builds up and that's what's recorded as the first component of your blood pressure so in your case the 140 is called your systolic and that's the blood pressure when the heart actually contracts then when the heart relaxes it gives off a second beat and that is represented by the lower number or the bottom number in the blood pressure fraction and so in your case that's the 90 and that's called diastolic and so whenever the heart beats it actually emits two sounds the boom 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 so the first boom that's systolic the second boom that's diastolic and that's what's rec recorded as your blood pressure now depending on which resource you are reading or which resource your doctor subscribes to blood pressure readings are categorized into either three or four i'm going to explain now generally we all accept that blood pressure up to 120 over 80 is normal so once they check your blood pressure and it's 120 over 80 or less it's considered normal and so you can go about your normal activity whatever you are doing that's keeping your blood pressure normal just continue doing it if you're not doing anything and your blood pressure is still normal well i wish you well because it's not going to stay there forever <laughs> now from 120 up to 130 over 80 some resources will tell you that that is pre-hypertension other resources will tell you that it's acceptable it's considerably normal you know so depending on which one you, are, you subscribe to you, you stick with it so 120 up to 130 is considered normal for some people but once you go beyond 130 we all agree that you are entering into dangerous territories <laughs> so if your blood pressure reading is anywhere from 130 over 80 all the way up to 139 over 89 you are indeed considered pre-hypertensive some people would actually consider you stage one hypertensive generally nobody will give you medication for this but sometimes depending on your risk profile they might start you on some medication even at this point we'll talk about some risk factors a little later on so 130 up to 139 over 80 up to 89 is considered stage one hypertensive or pre-hypertensive so be mindful if you are in that category now once you cross 140 over 90 you are indeed hypertensive no two ways about that especially if this recording has been taken on two separate occasions at least four hours apart so if you take your recording in the morning this morning and it was 140 over 90 and you take the recording again in the afternoon and it's still 140 over 90 you are hypertensive and so you really ought to start paying attention to some of these things now you might be wondering why is there a need to categorize the blood pressure as i have just given you this is because at any point in time there's a risk of complication and that risk increases as your blood pressure goes up and so we want to be able to catch it early so that we can limit or we can minimize the complication that you are being exposed to so that you don't have significant cause of illness or ill health and so it's in your interest to be checking your blood pressure regularly so that if you recognize any of these things that i've spoken about you yourself can begin to take certain actions to help bring your blood pressure down this is very, very important because hypertension typically does not give you any symptoms 
a significant majority of people who are hypertensives have no symptoms. The only time the, or the only way you know you have hypertension is when you actually check your blood pressure. So you need to check your blood pressure at least once every other month. This is very important. And as you grow older, you need to check it a bit more frequently because age is indeed a risk factor for the development of hypertension. So take that as the gold standard and work with that. So now to the question directly. So your blood pressure was 140 over 90. Now my question to you is, have you been diagnosed as hypertensive based on the criteria I shared? In other words, have you had two recordings of 140, 140 over 90 or above? If yes, then I'm sure by now you have been started on medication. Now there's some element of denial. Every time somebody is diagnosed with a chronic disease like hypertension, diabetes, etc., there's always an element of denial. And so they typically will refuse to start medication because they think there's something wrong somewhere. They cannot be hypertensive, they cannot be diabetic. My advice to you is to get a second opinion as quickly as possible. If you are indeed hypertensive, you need to start taking your medication immediately and take it religiously. Because if your BP remains high, your risk of complication remains high and you could suffer severe, long-lasting complications which we seriously want to avoid at this point. So start your medications as soon as possible. That's number one thing you need to do. Number two, are you overweight or obese? If you are overweight or obese, the next thing you want to tackle is that particular thing. You need to reduce your weight. Research has shown that if you're able to drop your weight by 10 kilos, your blood pressure will also drop by 10 points. And for a lot of people, just this change, this change in their weight is enough to bring their blood pressure back to within normal limits so that they may not need to be on medication anymore. Emphasis on may not need to be on medication anymore. So if you're overweight or obese, you want to drop your weight. Thirdly, is your cholesterol also elevated? Most of the time, when you are diagnosed as hypertensive, they would also check your cholesterol. And if it's, it's elevated, they might alter the treatment some way, somehow. So if that's the case for you, then don't be surprised if your medication is altered to include some medication to control your cholesterol. However, if indeed your cholesterol is elevated, or even if it's not elevated, here are some things you want to start doing today to drop it a bit more and avoid the development of further complications. Cholesterol generally is from animal sources. So you want to begin to reduce your intake of animal products. So your meat, intake of meat, i.e. chicken, beef, chivon, all of that would have to come down significantly. You may also want to start cutting down your salt intake. These are things that would naturally cause your blood pressure to go up. So basically, you need to start monitoring your diet. Improve your diet, cut down on processed foods, Increase your intake of fruits and vegetables. You know, antioxidants are good in this regard. These are things you can do on your own to help bring down your blood pressure. However, I must sound this warning. These things that you are going to be doing, i.e. dropping your weight, checking your diet, does not replace the need for you to be on medication. Once your blood pressure crosses the 140-90, you need to be on medication to bring the blood pressure down. And it is this medication that is going to keep the blood pressure down whilst these other measures that you are going to put in place will take a bit more time to reflect in your body these are the things you need to take note of once your blood pressure crosses 140 over 90 but as a wellness consultant my goal is to make sure that your blood pressure does not cross 140 over 90 and so you ought to make healthy lifestyle choices a part of your daily routine so that you can delay the onset of hypertension as much as possible. I already stated that age is a major factor in the development of hypertension. So in as much as you may not be able to entirely prevent hypertension, you can definitely slow it down. And that's our goal. Thank you very much. I hope I've answered your question. If you watching me have a question as well, remember to drop it in any of my inboxes on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, wherever you find me. And let's connect. Have a fabulous time. Stay blessed and subscribe.